and welcome back to the Abington Co. channel. I am your host, Abington, and we are at Reno Air Races. But this is not just any Reno Air Races. This is the last Reno Air Races that is going to be in Reno, Nevada. So of course we had to be here. This is the 59th Reno Air Race, and there's so much history and so many fun facts about this event that we're gonna go ask people if they can give us a fun fact about Reno Air Races. So I'm super excited. I know there's also a lot of crew members here. If you're a crew member, then you know you already wear an Abingdon watch, and we're hopefully gonna run into some of them as well, um, but that is to be determined. This is kind of an experiment. I've never done an episode like this, but we're gonna go find out some fun facts about Reno, so come along. Aaron Miller, author, granddaughter of a wasp, also one of the co-creators, designers of the Abingdon Co. Wasp watch. Which I have on. It's a limited edition piece that we made in honor of the Women Air Force Service pilots, and it's she's one of the reasons why we were able to do that, so thank you for that. Thank you for doing it. So tell me about your fun fact about Reno Air Races. So I don't know if it's a fun fact, but my great-grandfather was a pilot in the 1925 air races, which used to be held in New York at the time, and he won his category, which was the bomber category, and he won the Detroit News Trophy, which was the award you got, I guess, for that category in that year. And now they have to move from this location, so they are currently searching for a new location. There you go. Now you just got the entire history of where the air races have been. You just won the Stoll competition. I did. The Stoll Drag. The Stoll Drag competition. The 2023 Stoll Drag National Champion. Amazing. How did you do it? Flying a really good Highlander. <laughs> okay. Did you modify it at all or do anything yeah, like? I'm a dealer for these, so we sell the kits to people. Uh -huh. And I've been flying them for years, and I'm always trying to think of how I can make them better. And both for just flying and for competition, both. Because I'm a racer, I've always raced, I can't help myself. Awesome. So you asked a question about if Steve had modified it. I did. So Steve doesn't modify things, Steve builds things and new ideas. People copy Steve because he modifies this thing to be, yeah, it's number eight. He's built eight of these things. Oh, so wow. he is like the man, to, the man to be. You're asking for fun facts about Reno and we told you that the the Stoll Drag being introduced into Reno as a, as a class right. is the late, is the only one that's been introduced in like 25 years. Yeah. Yep. And it's only been going for about four years. Yep. These are the kind of planes that anybody can fly. Yep. It's not out of the reach of the normal man or woman. You know, they can buy these planes, build these planes as experimental kits. And Steve sells the Highlander kits. So they're just so nice. How much would a Highlander cost all said and done if you build it? You could build one like mine here for about 100000 plus labor. But one like this, which is it's the best Highlander in existence. Obviously, it, it, just, it just won the is. gold. I was just standing here waiting for a friend, and Diana's like, hey, I know you. We're Facebook friends. She flies at United, yes. and you're going to tell me a fun fact about Reno, because that's what we're asking everybody. Absolutely. So, so my fun fact, I made a pilgrimage to Reno about 21, 22 years ago um, when I was an intern with Continental Express, and Bob Hoover was the Grand Marshal, and awesome. I got to meet him. It was incredible. And I just made it back to my next this is Reno. Your second, second Reno, the last and final. One little fun fact of Reno: it's been going since 1964, and we have not lost one full day of racing due to the exceptional fine weather here in northern Nevada. 
And we're having particularly nice weather this week. This has been one of the best Renos I've ever been to. We, we have had in 55 years, we've had it snow, we've had it 100, we've had it snow and 100 in the same week. This week <laughs> has been a absolutely spectacular week weather-wise and the crowds are loving it. The Reno Area 99s have been involved with uh, providing services to the Reno Air Racing uh, Group since 1964. So we've been in, involved for 58 years. And that's a fun fact about the Reno Air Races. <laughs> Here's a fun fact for Reno. Every single pilot that flies in the races out there has to go through a safety course that the Reno Air Racing Association puts on. You can't just go out there and fly without having done all the safety stuff. So if you guys don't know Diesel Dave, he has a YouTube channel called Having These Cards. It's a super cool flying adventure channel that's super cool. They do well. They do like rescues like the mountains. They help people. Awesome. Super cool. Super cool channel. Awesome. And his dad's brother helped start the airport. And they actually named the airport after. So his uncle is Stead. Yes. From Reno Stead. There you go. There's another fun fact about Reno Air Races. Yeah. Check out her channel, Plane Junkies, Soul Racing. Make sure you check out Heavy Beach Parks too. They're a really good channel too. Excellent. My fun fact is that I am the fastest woman ever at Reno. 469.831 miles an hour on the racetrack. Nine, uh, 2015 in an L139 that belonged to Diana Stanger. This plane, Plum Crazy? Yeah. I'm Plum Crazy for Plum Crazy. <laughs> uh, this plane was, was owned by Clay Lacey and it raced from 1964 to 1972 and it was a 1970 national champion. It's the first year back on the racetrack uh, since 1972. It's the fastest stock Mustang here. It's uh, gonna start fourth in the gold on Sunday, which is amazing. <laughs> I just met one of my favorite podcasters. Uh, this is Jello from Hello. the Fighter Pilot Podcast. Indeed. You have a very fun fact about one of the something that happened at Reno one year. Yeah. So in I think it was 2000, I was a Top Gun instructor here, and the command that Top Gun falls under had F-14s, F-18s, and then another command had F-5s. Uh -huh. Well, one of the acts between races was a mock dogfight between an F-14 and an F5. And they came in from opposite sides and met in the middle and then did this little thing and before long the F14 was behind the F5 and the crowd loved it because it, it was a low altitude simulated dogfight but it was very scripted. I mean it was very sure. clear that it was an act. Sure. But yeah, it was um, it was a neat performance and it was very unique. That's awesome. This is Clay Lacey. This is the living legend you are. Um, even I'm sure you've been heard, heard that a lot. But this was your airplane? Yes, yeah. And you raced at Reno? Yeah, I had raced the first race, and I raced from uh, first race in 64, and those 72. Amazing. Won Reno first in 1970. That was the first year you won? Yeah. How many times have you won? In this, at Reno, at once. Just the one time? But I've raced other places. Ton of One. times, yeah, amazing. Came in New Jersey and St. Louis, and, but anyway, I've had a lot of fun with this airplane. I'll bet. Fun fact: living legend, Reno Air Races. I heard a rumor that there was a female Formula One race pilot, which I found. This is Blair, and she apparently has to wear ballast. You have to wear weight. Yeah, one of the rules in Formula One is the pilot has to have a minimum weight of 160 pounds. So that can include your gear. So I can put my parachute on and my helmet and my gloves to, to try to meet the weight. Yeah. Uh, but then I still fall short. I'm normally, I'm 124 pounds is my body weight. Yeah. So then with my gear on, I'm, I still fall short. So I have little bags of lead shot 
and I shove it in different areas of my flight suit and my parachute. That's crazy. Yeah, to bring myself up to 160 pounds. This is a Ziploc bag full of lead shot. I have it in a second bag in case I don't want it to break open and like be all over. Um, and I will just take several of these and just shove them wherever in I can fit pockets them on my person. Wherever. Yeah. That's nuts. Yeah. I'm with Gene and his son Greg McNeely, who are like legends in this space here. And I'm asking everybody a fun fact about Reno. So Greg, you're flying this airplane. Yes, ma'am. And um, Gene, you have raced many, many times. How many times? Since 1986. That's a lot of times. <laughs> so if you win at Reno, what do you get from the race? Is it just? I think it's a hundred and something thousand for the whole class, and there's six, 16 of us racing. And, and our saying is, what we win pays half our bar bill, so uh, right? it's pretty good. I was going to say, did that only cover the fuel for just that race? Because no, <laughs> it's so expensive. <laughs> it is very, uh, very expensive, but with your sponsors and uh, the purse, which it, plus we get a nice little trophy. We get a trophy. Okay. Yeah. okay. It, it starts getting competitive. We all think the world of each other as competitors, and we'd loan them our engine if we had to, but we want to beat them. So we're all competing, and it gets grows right up to the last day. And I think uh, in trying to win is just, I mean, it's, it's fun. It's really yeah. a lot of fun. Yeah, that looks great. <laughs> Someone told me years ago that I'd go faster if I took all the stickers off. And I told him I wouldn't go at all because no. it's all the sponsors <laughs> paid for. It. I am having an absolute blast hearing all these new fun facts. And I've been getting so many that I'm going to have to do a second video. So check out the next video. Stay tuned for more fun facts from Reno Air Races. And also, if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit the bell next to it to get notified of all of our fun videos that we do on uh, different events that we go to, where we meet up with crew members, a bunch of watch stuff, of course. Watch knowledge is awesome, it's my jam. Um, but we are always out doing a bunch of things. So I appreciate the subscribe, I appreciate the like, and definitely throw a comment in and tell me what you liked about this video or what was your favorite fun fact.